Hello, my beautiful bitches. It's your girl, Ginger Fahrenheit here, and welcome to another episode of Becoming Ginger. So much to talk about this week. It's ridic. There's a lot coming up on the horizon for me on this channel. So yeah, let's, let's go right into this. First of all, I hope you've noticed my look today. I was going for a little bit of Amanda fucking Palmer, um, so that's why I've got the crazy um, different colors going on. Here's a picture for reference. And the reason why I can have more color on my eyes now is because somebody sent me fan mail. They asked me if I had an Amazon wish list, and I do. Um, of all my drag needs and they sent me this crazy awesome eyeshadow palette with like 255 colors and they sent me a Max Factor pan stick which is my foundation for today. I um, tried to get my reaction. I tried to open it with um, the camera on me and it was a shitty camera so it didn't take the whole thing but here's what I got. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is so awesome. Oh my god. I want to have every color ever on my face. Just saying. Just saying. Adam, because I know it was you, thank you very, very much for this. I will use it like crazy, and you're awesome. It's about right. So the next thing I want to tell you about is this awesome new project that I have going on. I have a Twitter friend, her name is Veronica Lush. Um, she started drag about the same time that I started drag. So um, I think we feel that instant bond of being new queens and trying to learn the ropes and shit together. Um, and came up with an idea that we would do a collaborative channel. It's gonna be called Drag vs. Bio and um, the subscription will be down below. Um, you can subscribe. Um, I think our first video will be up on Saturday, so look forward to that. So basically what we'll do is we'll have a challenge or some goal in mind of what we want to do, and she will do a video and I will do a video, and they will get spliced together and you just tell us who did it better, who did it worse, why, what we need to do to be better, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure she's gonna whoop my ass on most of the challenges, not even gonna lie. <laughs> she's pretty amazing, so, um, so look forward to that. Drag vs. Bio, coming your way, yeah. <laughs> Then, I have a whole other thing going on on this channel. So, um, Adam, who um, gave me the eyeshadow palette and stuff, uh, we talk a lot on Twitter. He said, you should, you know, have an advice column, like ask a bio queen or something. There are a lot more famous and fabulous queens that do this already, um, one of which some of them I'm going to talk about later in this video, but I thought, you know, this could be an option just to kind of break up, I hope I didn't just smudge my makeup, just to kind of break up the monotony of, you know, this kind of arrested development and drag that I'm in right now where I'm still just trying to learn my face, but, um, you know, it's not like I'm making a whole lot of progress. I still have a long way to go. And I make progress every time I practice, but, you know, that could be kind of boring to watch week after week, too. So I thought I would open up my channel to this viewer's choice kind of thing. You can either ask me advice, you can ask me a personal question, or you can ask me something drag related, or you can challenge me to something, um, be it a tag or ridiculous YouTube challenge and I will tackle one of those once a week or so. If, you know, something important drag related comes up, obviously 
that will take precedent over this, but I thought it would be a fun way. You could learn a little bit more about me. Um, you could laugh at my ridiculousness or, you know, maybe I could say something to help somebody at some point. So, um, I have an ask.fm that you can uh, submit anonymous questions slash challenges to. And why not? Let's do this, right? So, I put that up on my social media just to see if there was any interest in it, and I did get some interest. Um, I got a couple of questions, so I'm going to tackle the first one. And the first question I got was, who is your favorite YouTuber? It's hard, because I actually watch YouTube more than I watch regular television, if I'm being real real. <laughs> YouTube's important, because I consider YouTube to be my drag mother. I've learned just about everything drag-wise from YouTube, between YouTube and my drag sister. So, um, so yeah, YouTube is important to me. And um, I am subscribed to a lot of YouTubers. So it's hard to just pick one. I don't think I can pick just one, so why don't I just go through my favorites? Plural. <laughs> um, First and foremost, I would say, would be Honey Go Lightly. And not just because she's gave me an awesome shout out on her Facebook, which I was not expecting. Thank you, Honey. You're the best. Love ya. Um, but yes, Honey Go Lightly is amazing. I would say Misty Eyes, obviously. Very important. Like, 99% of what I do good probably came from Misty Eyes. I also really, really love Victoria Vogue. She's an Australian queen, and she does kind of an Ask a Drag Queen thing as well. She's really great. I love her. Um, I think she's a wonderful look, and she's really just kind of brilliant. Um, I also really love Tin Tim. That's T I N as in nasty, and T I M as in. Make it work. I, I'm not good at that whole thing, but I really enjoy Tin Tim. I actually discovered Tin Tim by when I was trying to decide if I wanted to be a bio queen. I was like, well, let's see what drag queens think about bio queens. And Tin Tim had a whole video up about her opinions on drag queens and bio queens and everything. And so she kind of gave me the go ahead to give it a whirl, <laughs> which I appreciate. Um, so yeah, and led me to Holy McGrail, who is like the best bio queen ever, besides Michelle Visage and Lady Gaga. <laughs> um, so yeah, Tim Tim is amazing. And if we're gonna go outside of drag, um, I love Davy Wavy. Easy on the eyes, funny, informative, very cute. Love Davy Wavy. Um, I love Ariella's is Hamming slash Girlfriends TV because she does both of them. I think she's really adorable and I love her videos. Um, and then I would say like the newest one that I really just love, love, love is the Lush channel, which is Gay God slash Matthew Lush and his boy, his new boyfriend Nick. They are just beyond words cute. Come on. <laughs> they're adorable and I love to watch her, their videos they have like they do like three times a week they're always on and um, couldn't be cuter and I just hope that they just go beyond way see little Nick and Mash Matt babies lush babies at some point <laughs> I wish them the best of luck they're too cute <laughs> so yeah um, is there anybody else that I just always always watch Oh, I do love Andrew Parachetti, the little makeup artist boy. I think he's adorable and very talented, and everybody should check him out. Um, I think he just reached his goal of 100 subscribers, so that's fantastic. Maybe someday I'll get 25. Who knows? <laughs> I know, I feel pathetic. I have such few subscribers, but all the cool kids are here, so bye, girl, bye. 
Um, is there anybody else that I just watch, watch, watch? I don't think that's about it. So yeah, all those people I mentioned, <laughs> they're all my favorite YouTubers. And that's not counting the collab channels that I watch, which are Queens of the Week, Altered Illusions, and Perfect Androgyny, and soon to be Drag vs. Bio. <laughs> I do love all those collab channels, all the queens on those collab channels. I watch them as well. I think they're all amazing, and I try to pick up little tips here and there from all of them as well, just watching their little tutorials that they do occasionally. So. So yeah, that should be it. I think I've rambled on enough, and it's about 2.30 in the morning, so maybe I ought to wrap this shit up, right? Alright. I love you all. I will see you soon with our new collab channel with Veronica Lush, and peace out. Bye!